So hi and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today we're going to discuss on an uh, a very interesting topic which is about food. So I think everybody loves food except people who wants to diet. So it's going to be really interesting. But before that, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Munira Zulkifli. Um, metric ID one eight two one four six from Faculty of Science. Okay, my name is Alia Nurizli binti Arazmi. My metric number is 182173. Uh, okay, my name is Nur Atira binti Badrul Hisham. And my metric number is 183939. I'm from Faculty of Economy and Management. So, uh, we have been asked to watch a video about uh, the importance of having our breakfast, right? So, uh, do you guys have any uh, opinion that you want to share with? Uh, people about that video. Video, okay. Yeah. In my opinion, uh, the video mm -hmm. illustrates uh for us on how important uh to take our breakfast and what uh is the symptoms uh if we are not taking breakfast. So um I learned quite a lot too from the videos, the video because I'm the person who like taking not. Uh, taking that the type of breakfast person, yes, because uh, I take it easily. Like I don't really think breakfast is important. Because you're lazy to take your breakfast. Yes, because okay. sometimes I wake up like late, late at the morning, oh. so <laughs> it will be brunch, breakfast and lunch, not breakfast. And so, also diet like that. No. That's why. No, 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 that's no, no, why. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not eating diet. Okay, that's very interesting. So Alia, do you have anything to share? Uh, for me. Um, I was same with Atira. I always keep the breakfast because uh yeah, I was in a hurry because the class is always start at eight pm, right? Eight am. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think that the breakfast is not important. But after I watch the video, I learned uh, I I've already take the breakfast because I know the the consequences. Bad, the cons consequences if I skip the breakfast. Okay. So that's really interesting. Um, but in my case, since I was a child, my mother used to force me to eat my breakfast. If I don't eat my breakfast, she won't start the car. <laughs> so if she won't start the car, then I cannot go to school. <laughs> so I need, by hook or by crook, by hook or by crook, I need to eat it. Eat it. So until now, before I go to class, I will buy like uh, two sticks of nuggets or oh. anything. I will always have my <coughs> breakfast. But sometimes I hope that I can diet a bit. <laughs> okay. So um then with that topic yes. so now we're going to go into suggest yeah our suggestion we're going to suggest you guys uh each of us two healthy meals for you to have during your breakfast so who would like to start um uh, yeah. okay. about you uh for me the healthy food that we can take in our breakfast is first green tea Okay, actually green tea is the simplest food that we can prepare if we want to hurry to going so to go somewhere, right? So green tea is actually a great diet uh, that we can take in every day, and if we take if we sip the green tea every morning, it will actually <laughs> jumpstart our metabolism <laughs> because we will eat less. And when we eat less, our weight also will losing, right? Because when we drink the green tea, the it will block our consum the consumption, the <laughs> absorption of carbohydrate. And then actually the green tea is the excellent antioxidant because it will protect our body from diseases. And the effect the effect of when we are taking the green tea actually we will feel full uh we will stomach will full and we feel the we don't want to eat more during lunch uh -huh. well that's <coughs> interesting because i love green tea yeah green tea is uh, like a good substitute of uh, coffee because they have higher uh, content of caffeine yeah than, uh, than okay. coffee. Yeah, it's better it's a good substitute <coughs> new info yeah. for me so, uh, okay, so um, for me, uh, I would like to firstly introduce you guys to this common food 
which is very healthy actually. But then, it's up to you guys. If you eat two, then you get fat. So, just eat one. Okay? <laughs> what so, is that? So, it is... Tang. It is Man. burger. Wow. You know burger? Like, everybody burger. loves burger. Yeah. Okay? Of yeah, because first of all, people always thought that burger <coughs> is too healthy. But that is because you consume too much of burger. You can see that burger is like uh, the most healthy food that contains everything that you need in a food pyramid. It has carbohydrate like the bread protein yeah protein and then they have the vegetables and they also have um fat some cheese that's good okay so um but if you're planning on reducing your weight or if you're obese then you would probably uh, substitute the meat with uh eggs we call it benjo oh, yeah, so you can take it uh, for your breakfast because um, there, there was a saying that uh, when for breakfast, you need to eat like a king. You need to eat a lot because you're going to spend your energy throughout the day just for breakfast. So, um, you can try on burger. Mm. That's my opinion and advice. Yeah. Okay. It's quite surprising to hear <laughs> taking, <laughs> taking burger for a breakfast. Yeah, because at first I that doesn't I it feel that like uh, you will be sleepy or <laughs> because it is a kind of a heavy meal. No, no. because um I'm so used to heavy meals oh. uh during breakfast because my mom cooks every morning, uh-huh. so oh. like I have noodles and stuff. But it keeps me tr- uh, energetic throughout yeah. the day. Yeah, mm. because if you don't eat breakfast like in the video, if you don't eat something proper for your breakfast, uh you will end up um being tired and demotivated and then. Um, during lunch, you will be extra hungry because yeah, yeah you didn't eat properly properly in the morning. Uh, yeah, so that's okay. My in my opinion, for yeah. taking breakfast, cliche <coughs> and common <laughs> sandwich. Oh, uh, sandwich. Okay, because um for me um in myself, uh sandwich yes also it requires uh, all the ca- calories and all the what we said, the nutritional facts that mm-hmm. uh, that we have in sandwich. Like, we have the salads, we have the kind of, like, egg sandwich, we have uh, mm-hmm. protein. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, just, uh, like me, I love to take, like, uh, just two piece of, sen- uh, oh, two piece okay. of um, sandwich is already enough uh, for me to, for us to feel full until uh, if sometimes we take the breakfast mm-hmm. and like it last it last uh, long lasting yeah. so we doesn't feel hungry uh, easily in uh, the afternoon so mm, sandwich uh, yeah I prefer sandwich for like it, <laughs> when I eat it there's you know because there is the vegetables there are vegetables in it so I feel like it's very healthy. <laughs> healthier. Quite healthy. Yeah, quite healthy. Yeah, and we can also <coughs> substitute like usually usually we use the white bread, right? Mm. Uh, we can substitute with the, the whole meal, bread, whole bread, yeah, bread uh. and it will become very healthy. Yep. Yeah. Nice choice. But kind of lazy to make it <laughs> myself. Yeah. yeah. We should just buy it. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I think I have another idea that we can prepare for our breakfast that is the fruit smoothie. <laughs> uh, fruit smoothie. Uh, we can the the way for us to prepare is so simple because we just use any fruit that we have at home, right? Especially strawberry and banana. Okay, uh, and we the process is uh, start with we blend the fruit and then we mix the bl- blend together with the rush of ice and the protein powder and then protein powder, yeah, such as. Is it something that we can buy or? Uh, yeah, there are many yeah, protein powder at the. Is it healthy? Mall. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's protein. <laughs> no, because it's like processed protein. Uh, <coughs> I don't know. I that. think uh, it is but I like. Think it, I, um, like protein powder is like something guys like who wants for, muscle, yes, right? Like someone like, yeah. who wants yeah. to take diet or something. Ah, uh, diet. Is it? I, I don't think it's for diet. I think it's for guys who want to build up muscles. Work out. Yeah, and then they drink protein a lot. <coughs> yeah, my okay. teacher used to do that. Okay, Maybe I, this is kind of protein powder that different. 
Okay. Yeah, we can also substitute the protein powder if you don't want to use it with yogurt or calcium because calcium can build strength our bone, right? Mm. And then the reason why I I more more choose to strawberry and banana is because we know that strawberries are low in calorie which are good for our body and uh, good nutrient and also high in vitamin C and potassium and then we strawberry no, <laughs> no. <laughs> strawberry also high in what we call it fiber because fiber yeah. will make us to feel full for the whole day right um, and then for the banana we use banana because bananas can actually will maintain our regu- uh, blood sugar level hmm. mm. and then will also maintain our blood pressure uh, so i think the uh, we can use banana and strawberry to make fruit smoothie for our breakfast was this it was so simple but i think for the kids mm, they will more excited to take the breakfast right so yeah. they won't skip so uh, you often do the fruit smoothies at home <laughs> not so often but when when the season there is fruit ingredients ah uh, there is there ingredients. ingredients okay i will make it whatever but okay. Never thought of that, like having <laughs> food in the morning, right? Yes. But then because they have protein powder, probably it will make you Boost more energetic. Boost the energy, yeah. yes. Mm. Interesting. So, how about you? So, um, <coughs> for my second suggestion, right? This is something that you can eat um, at a hook. If you want to be fast and if you're lazy, like like me or anything <laughs> and you want to diet because every girl every girl want to diet right of course. so this is a very interesting fact you can go to the mall and search for granola bars usually oh. Malaysian don't eat this but um, it is become more and more popular nowadays because it is uh, usually popular among uh, the American teenagers because they are very um, concerned about their weight and stuff so my sister is the one who introduced it to me oh. these granola bars usually, usually the most interesting fact is that they have uh, the amount of calories at each package meaning whenever you <coughs> eat um, a package you know how much calorie that you you're uh, taking so um, it's good for you and then uh, it's very healthy too you just like unwrap the package and just eat it and it has lots of fibers um, and adequate amount of um, things uh, that you need nutrition that you need for uh, to go through the whole day like they have some some flavors are strawberries or blueberries um, mm. which is very good for your health too so uh, I want to uh, ask, yeah. does it taste and look like a chocolate bar uh, quite like you know sneakers Sneaker, okay. oh, yeah, yeah, almost like sneakers, but then most of them are rice, rice. What do we call it? Rice. Wait. Oh, rice. Oh, no, no, it's like. Oh, uh, like um. Oh, it's in pieces of like. Need, um, yeah, no, no, rice. I, I want to eat it. Why? What, what uh, is what it? Grains. Um, yeah, grains. I think so. Uh, rice grains. Something like kind that. of like rice grain. Um. Oh. Yeah, but then oh, it's so very delicious. It can. Uh, you can take it easily and yeah. it's very light right to yeah. bring uh. yes and then you can also know the um, the amount of calorie that you're taking so that is easy to eat and very healthy food because it is it contains a lot of fibers so search for granola bars okay <laughs> what wow. about you so you guys <laughs> gave a really different and kind of <laughs> it's out of my mind right like it's for breakfast okay for me okay um i want to share with you guys sometimes when i don't uh have enough time to take breakfast my mom will at least um urge me to have some milo oh yes uh, oh. Or, or some uh dairy drinks like uh, milk or soybean uh, something like that um i quite uh, confused too why my mom always like um in the morning sometimes we are rush we were rushing to yes. go to school or class or anything to work. um and then like i don't want to take um like we won't waste our time sitting on the table the table, table or what so my mom just say uh, just have um a drink uh, a glass of milo or what 
Um, and when I took it, when I it becomes a habit, um, habit for me. Like now, I don't have my mom by my side, but oh. uh, I'm in my dorm. So every morning, if I got a lot of times, yeah, some I will um make, make my Milo, Milo. At least in my room, there will be three in one. Three in one Milo <laughs> packets. Uh, or you can like store some dairy products yeah. in your room. Okay. Yeah, like yeah. my room is like kind of mini mart already. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I will come to your room okay. <laughs> sure. and steal all everything. <laughs> sure, okay. So um, like taking uh just by taking those drinks uh will uh boost your energy for the entire day also because it works because mm. uh by just drinking a uh, Milo or anything like dairy like milk or anything dairy drink um. Like it won't make you feel uh dizzy or like you know when our stomach is empty we will um, kind of uh sometimes <coughs> there's people uh like having <coughs> gastric or they need to eat something right mm-hmm, yeah. so um when our stomach is empty we will kind of feeling dizzy <coughs> or feel like want to vomit mm. okay so um I think like my first suggestion sandwich and also if you really don't have time you can. Just drink something, drink something. Drink something. Or oh, I think even um plain Horlick. water is okay. also okay. You know, like plain water <coughs> so, um like anything like any anything uh drinks, any drinks, it will help. Yeah, and also some drinks they have glucose, right? Ah, yep. So glucose is very important for your brain yes. actually. It will yeah. boost your energy, your mood. Yeah, mood is yeah, and oxygen for important. your brain. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So remember that. So, I think we have probably stated all our opinions. Uh, do you guys want to add anything? Mm. <laughs> uh, I think after this, at home, I will try to take to breakfast. prepare breakfast like you guys have already mm. tell, mm, such as burger, Milo, and what sandwich. sandwich. Oh, granula bar. Granula bar. Granula bar is the most. Yes, the, the most, most food that uh, you like you. to try. Yeah. I think it was interesting because I never had before. But I'm gonna find <coughs> protein powder. Okay. For sure. And yeah. Also the fruit smoothies. I will yeah. make it at home. Try to make it. So as we see, yes, breakfast is actually important for us. But um, sometimes we ourselves pull neglect mm. on. The importance of taking breakfast. Sorry about the background music. <laughs> background <laughs> music. And not some opinions. Okay, so we are done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. so that's all. I think that's all from us. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.